Hello, and welcome to the MindFish.com series on hard math questions. So we're going to be doing some of the hardest questions out of your uh, official SAT study guide. And as I've said in some of my other videos, this is a really important book to buy and use, regardless of who you study with and what program you use. It's got the most authentic questions you're going to find. However, there aren't explanations. So that's what we're doing here. We're trying to explain some of the hardest questions of the math test. So this question we're looking at is question 16 on page 486. It's the last question on the section, so you'd expect it to be very difficult. Um, now, if we look at the question, it says, on a square game board that is divided into n rows of n squares each, k of these squares lie along the boundary of the game board, which, is the, which of the following is a possible value for k? So the reason this question is hard is that there's no specific equation that's going to solve it. I call this a pattern or a sequence question. And one of the ways that we try to solve pattern or sequence questions is to start with something we do know, which is the, the beginning of the pattern. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically build some, some game boards, take a look at our n's, take a look at our k's, and systematically eliminate some of these answers until we can figure out the one that is possible. So we're basically going to just make a little chart. We'll start with n is uh, 1, and k is going to be 1. If n is 2, so you can see that there are 2 by 2, then k is going to be 4. If n is 3, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then k is going to be 8. Can you see the pattern yet? Almost there. Number 4, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, k is going to be 12. So what you can see here is once we, get from, we go from 2 to 3 to 4, we're just dealing with multiples of 4. So we're coming over here, and we're saying, is 10 a multiple of 4? No. Is 25 a multiple of 4? No. Is 34? No. Is 42? No. But 52 is, and 52 is 4 times 13. So essentially what we did is we took a look at some of the early values that we could easily show and understand. And we use those to extrapolate to a harder value. I always found these questions to be some of the most difficult questions on the SAT when I took it, again, because there wasn't an equation. There wasn't an exact method to solve this. So with these series and sequence questions, again, try to build some, some part of the sequence or the series or the pattern so that you can start to look and extrapolate to a greater number of boxes. Mindfish.com will help you ace the SAT. Practice for the test with SAT Quest, our online SAT quiz game with over 1,500 practice questions. Learn difficult SAT vocabulary words with short, funny, and memorable vocab clips on video vocab. We've got test prep pros from Harvard and Stanford standing by to give you the test prep guidance that you need. Master every concept on the test with SAT videos. Mindfish.com, your resource for all you need to ace the test.